Welcome to Home Tiny Lab. Uh, my name is Christoph, and in this video, we are going to make uh, the disk of a virtual machine, a VDI, uh, bigger. Uh, I've already made a video like this, but I used Clonezilla to do this. And in this video, we are going to do it without using Clonezilla, and we are not going to use uh, Gparted. Here I am logged in in um, Xen Orchestra, and the system that I want to expand the disk off is the Rocky Linux 9 uh, virtual machine. So let's first have a look with what we are going to deal with. It's a base installation of Rocky uh, Linux. If we are going to have a look at the disks we see that there is only one disk defined and it's the xvda so this represents the old disk that is attached to the virtual machine and the size of the disk is 100 gigabyte and i'm using a iSCSI target as a storage resource if you want to expand the disk on, of your virtual machine it's always good to first analyze with what you have to do so let's have a look on the virtual machine itself how the filing system is uh, structured here is a terminal session of the system where i want to change the size of the disk of and if we do a simple dfh we will see that we have to do with a logical volume management so lvm and here we can see the sizes another thing that i need to know is which filing system is used for my logical volumes and to see this there is another magical command and here you see the type and it's uh, xfs so a uh, x filing system and with this we can go to work i made a little overview in draw io so first we have the physical part and that you can find in in the denomination uh, vdi for virtual machine most of the time your first disk will be xvda and the second will be xvdb and so on so this represents the old disk so if i create a vdi of 100 gig xvda will be the complete 100 gig and then you have partitions so partitions can be recognized with a number behind the disk denomination the vdi denomination so here you have xvda1 which is the boot partition and then you have xvda2 that hosts the logical volume or the swap the home and the root so in our uh, configuration the things that we want to grow if we have the need for more space we can let grow the home uh, logical volume or the root logical volume there is also the volume group in our case it starts with rl underscore ptr and so on so with this you can start to plan the growth of your uh, logical volumes an example of what you can have after you have done all the things to, to grow your uh, logical volumes so you expand your physical disk you can do this very simply uh, with xcpng and index and orchestra uh, then you will with what you add to the disk you can create a partition and then in that partition you can assign space or add space to your logical volumes so that is in in an overview what we are going to do here we are again on our virtual machine under xen orchestra and again under the tab disks and now there are two uh, possibilities uh, depending on your situation or you create a new disk that you add to your virtual machine or you make simply the size bigger of the existing vdi attached to your virtual machine i will show how you can add a disk it's simply clicking on new disk select on which resource you want that the disk resides i will choose the same as for the existing disk and then you type in the size that you want for example you want to make it grow with 50 gigabytes one of the logical volumes or you want to uh, divide it under for the different logical volumes everything is a little bit possible so let's say 50 and then click on create and we have a second disk added to our virtual machine if we would go to the terminal session so here we are again in the terminal session of the virtual machine so we added a secondary vdi so if we go to the dev directory and we will do ls uh, x 
you will see that there is also now a XVDB. And with this, we could uh, do the things that we are going to do with uh, a disk that's made bigger. So I show this only to say that this is possible also to do. Okay, so let's go back again to Xen Orchestra. So I'm not going to do this. So I'm going to and disconnect this of the virtual machine. And then I'm going to delete this VDI. To make the VDI bigger now, we have to stop the machine. So now this system is still running. If I try to make it bigger, so let's say 150, we have a warning that says VDI in use. If I would do a refresh, it will go again to one ordered gig. So you cannot make it bigger uh, this way. So let's. Uh, put the system to sleep a little while so let's click on the stop icon and when this icon is red we know that the system is down so if we now try to make this bigger it will take it now now the vdi is 150 gigabyte so let's boot up again the system and let's go to the virtual let's log in into the virtual machine again Let's clear this. And now we have to look at how we can uh, assign the disk space now to the logical volumes. Because if we look now, we will see that the disk space is still the same. With FDisk and the qualifier L, we can see a little bit more, but we have to be root. So let's change to root. Most of the commands that we are doing will be with root. So if you uh, have uh, sudo implemented, so you will always have to do sudo, sudo. or like me, you can uh, switch to root now. And here we are, and f disk minus l gives us information about our situation. So we have uh, 150 gigabytes for the VDI, so XVDA, and we have two partitions. And then we have the logical uh, mappings, root swap and ohm. Uh, 65 gigabytes for root, uh, 2 gigabytes for the swap, and 31, almost 32 gigabytes for the ohm uh, logical volume. So now we have two partitions that take up 100 uh, gigabytes of the existing disk and we have 50 gigabytes that's not in use. To use it, the easiest way is to partition it. Just for this we use again fdisk and we put the disk that we want to partition, xvda. So enter. Here you have m for l. So let's do this so that we can have a look what we need to use and to create a partition or to add a new partition what we are going to do we have to use n so let's type n and then enter and we are going with the default the added partition will be a primary partition number is automatically assigned three so we have xvda1 for the boot partition and XV xvda2 for the home and root logical volume and now we are going to create an xvda3 it will assign automatically the start point and it will give the end point so the partition now is created and it says create a new partition 3 of type linux and the size of 50 gigabytes now what we can do is to uh, select w if you see here save and exit w right table to disk and exit if you don't want to execute the partitioning you do simply q and you will leave without doing something so w it is the partition table has been altered and syncing disks so let's clear this again and let's do again the the f disk minus l and now we will see that there is a xvda3 added as a partition so now we have the 100 gigs that we had from the start and we have the added disk space now in a third partition now let's do a physical volume display of this 
so that's clear and physical is p v and display and you see only that there is def x vda that is the partition that is assigned to a logical volume group so we will now create with pv create def x vda re successfully created let's do display again and now we see that there is a new physical volume present of 50 gigabytes so let's now do a volume group listing and this is the one that has our attention let's clear this you can also see it with some more information with vg display and you will see that there there is still only 100 gigs available and there is no free space and now we are going to extend this and we are going to use the volume group name and we are going to extend this with the partition xvda3 successfully extended let's display this again and now we have free physical space 50 gigabytes free for the volume group if we do again on this you will see that those are still the same sizes and the complete size is around 100 gigs minus the, the swap logical volume so now for example if we want to add uh, 25 gigs to the home directory we can do this with the following command so first do you can see the logical volumes with lvs you have home root and swap and if you do lv display you have a little bit more information and you have the size size again here and remember it's the home that we want to let grow with 25 gigs as an example let's clear this again we are again there with a extend command but now for the logical volume and we are going to do this with 50 percent you can do this with percentages makes it easier nothing to calculate and then the volume group name and it was the um, logical volume so if we do enter you can size the size of logical volume is changed from 31 gigs to 56 gigs but now we are still have to grow the filing system and remember the filing system was of type xfs so we will use the xfs grow filing system and again for dev and the volume group and for uh, oh. And if we do now a view over the sizes, you will see that home has now 57 gigabytes. So it has grown for 25. We have some space left on the XVDA3 partition. And the space that we have left is, uh, we can see this again with uh, VG display. We see that there is still 25 gigabytes for the volume group three and that's something that we can keep as a reserve or we can assign it to a root so let's assign it to root as an exercise so let's clear this again we already have extended the volume group otherwise we wouldn't have uh, the 25 gigs still free so the only thing we have to do is to do uh, the extend minus l and if we want to be sure that we are going to assign everything that still remains we are going to grow with 100 percent and let's enter now the logical volume that we want to let grow and it's, this time it's going to be root uh, let's type the enter button and you see the growth is now from 65 to 90 gigabytes but again we have to grow the filing system and from the volume group name root and if we now have a look now we will see that the root filing system is 90 
91 gigs and 57 gigs and the total is around 150 gigs so we have now extended the disk and the vdi and we have assigned the disk space that was added to logical volumes so this is one of the ways that you can uh, make your vdi uh, bigger and let grow your filing system on a virtual machine i hope that this was helpful and i hope to see you in the next video and perhaps we will make again a vdi bigger thank you for watching